Um, hi folks, it's day 50 today. Um, I think I got my days confused yesterday and said it was 48 and it was really 49, so apologies for any confusion there. Um, <clears throat> again, I think I'm going to be doing a little short video today. I don't really have a lot to say. Um, I had therapy earlier this evening and it brought up it's brought up quite a lot of stuff that I need to kind of think about and process but I will maybe talk about it tomorrow or the day after I just need a little bit of time I think to you know mull it over and think about it because it gave me a lot to think about it was a good session generally when I have a good session it means it's you know a lot of really bad stuff's popped up that I have to kind of now deal with um but it's cool I can do that um the only other thing I wanted to talk about is um, it was kind of confirmed today that, you know, me and Fran were moving. So we're moving to a nice little house in Enfield. And it's a really good move, I think, for me and for us as a couple. Um, you know, we're leaving kind of central London, which is hectic and busy and crazy a lot of the time. And we're moving kind of out of London uh, to the greater London area in Enfield which is a lot quieter and even when it is busy it's a different type of busyness it's like it's a lot less hectic and you know there's a lot of green space around there and we're moving to like a really central location so everything's quite close the town center and all the amenities that we need the cinema just one bus ride away which is perfect it's easily commutable into london there's two different routes that go and the house itself is brilliant like we both saw it and we fell in love with it really it's like a little cottage in a it's kind of semi-gated community um but yeah it's really nice two bedroom house um and it's yeah it's really good i'm, I'm really excited about it really it's going to be a really good move for both of us i think um but at the same time like i've spoken about before change is it, it can cause anxiety even if it is a good change which this definitely is um and it's just a question of maybe accepting that there is a certain level of anxiety that comes with major changes like this so you know it's up there with all the biggies like you know divorce and bereavement and you know losing a loved one and stress like all the stresses and then you've got like moving houses up there with them so it's I'm kind of holding on to the fact that it's natural for me to feel a slight pang of anxiety at the moment. Um, but yeah, two weeks from now, we'll be kind of in the process of getting everything ready to go. And it's exciting. Um, it's going to be our first real home together. Like, because um, when I, I moved in with Fran originally, so it was kind of her flat and I just moved in. Whereas... Now this will be like our home together and it's something that we can build together and that's something I'm really looking forward to, just bringing our own kind of, you know, sense of ourselves as a couple together into the flat, into the house. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and I used to live in the area so I know Enfield quite well, it's quite a nice little town, um, got still got friends and people I know who live around there so it's it's good and moving closer to them um, I think it's closer for people to get to us as well if they drive um, but yeah it's really good it's a really good change and it's something that I've kind of I think I've needed for a while to to, to get away from the city and just noise and everything's just so noisy and in your face and frantic you know, people are just rushing everywhere, everywhere you go. Rush hour is just a nightmare, it really is, for someone with social anxiety, for someone with any kind of anxiety issue. It's not a good place to live. Um, it's a great city, I'm not going to slag it off or anything, but yeah, definitely something you need to take in small doses, I think, is my the way I'm looking at it from now on. It's still close enough that we can come into London if we need to, if we want to go to like see shows or anything like that, or hang out in London. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds, I think. You know, we're close enough to London that we can get there, and we're far enough out that 
you know, we're getting away from that kind of frantic nature of the city. Um, we're also allowed a pet, I think, if we get permission from the landlord, which is really good. That's something I've kind of wanted for a long time, um, to get a dog. Um, I think that would really have a drastic change in my mental health at the moment. Um, so all in all, it's really, really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Like I say, there is still that underlying sense of anxiety that I have anyway. Um, and I'm kind of viewing this as it's normal. Like, I wouldn't be normal if I didn't have anxiety about this kind of change. Because it's, it is, everyone has it, you know. Mine might be slightly heightened because of my condition, but <clears throat> in the end of the day, it's it's something I can live with and cope with. And I know that once we've moved in and get settled and everything's back to, like, kind of, you know, going okay, it, it'll be fine, you know, and I'll really appreciate the move. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and say that that's that's the big news of the day that we're we're moving and renting at the moment, but hopefully, you know, it's one step closer to owning somewhere eventually. Um and yeah, it'll be really nice. I can't wait to move in. It's such a nice house. Um but yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Just wanted to share some good news for a change. Um like I say, my session this evening was tough. Um I'll probably talk about it at some point, but I'll let you off for today. <laughs> um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, so 